when you watch as many action movies as we do, patterns begin to emerge. Some we hate, some we like, some we can't live without. Yeah. Stick around. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our top 10 essential action movie cliches. Let's play. Number 10, Trigger Happy. No matter what the circumstance, it seems as though the heroes always have the upper hand in a firefight. They dispatch enemies with ease while the countless baddies seem unable to hit the broadside of a barn. Number 9, everything goes boom. As everyone knows, cars are highly volatile machines, seemingly made of tissue paper, birch bark, and lighter fluid. Or so you would think by how often, easily, and massively they explode. Explosions are awesome, so if only more stuff went boom with such gusto. <laughs> That's what exploded? Holy shit, that was crazy. Number eight. What explosion? Roger Ebert long bemoaned the cliche of humans outrunning fire. I thought this looked like your work. Let's go, a brief in the air. But even more ridiculous is the hero seemingly not noticing a huge explosion occurring directly behind him as it caresses his buttocks with gentle warmth. Look it up, that is the definition of badass. Oh my god, how do they walk away in movies without flinching when it explodes behind them? There's no way! I got bullshit on that! Number seven, something to live for. The worst thing to have in an action movie is something to live for. Having any plans means that you're already beyond saving and might as well have a crosshair on your back. I'm too old for this shit. Don't even think about mentioning retirement. This is a cliche perfectly distilled in The Simpsons. We just christened a boat. Oh, yes, sir. Everything's gonna be just per <laughs> Number six, just a flesh wound. What kind of odds am I getting? You don't want to know. While action movies play loose with the laws of physics, they play even looser with biology. Yes. His face. Oh. Arnie, Sly, and Bruce can seemingly shake off any sort of physical trauma as a simple flesh wound. <laughs> Simply put, it would be pretty lame if bullet wounds or cuts caused them to stop fighting to, I don't know, look for a sterile bandage or seek out hospital care. I'm not fing energizer bunny. Number five, foreign foe. Ladies and gentlemen. European bad guys aren't just for James Bond films anymore. Who is the dickhead now, hey? Having a foreign accent appears to be pretty much a mandatory requirement at terrorist school. Who said we were terrorists? This is especially true if a bad guy plans on being taken seriously at all by the hero or authorities. One turn of that key, two million of your people will die instantly. What key? That key! Who's taking the key? Number four, personal vendettas. I'm gonna squeeze them till I give them up. Yeah, Ronnie, you do that, all right? But it's me that's gonna find this guy, Richie. You know that. Money and terrorism are strong motivations for downright nasty actions. Daddy? No, not daddy. However, a personal touch, like targeting the hero's family, always adds that deeper dimension. Bennett, stop screwing around and let the girl go! This often makes for bad guys that are just so bad, they gotta be killed with bare hands. I'm out of bullets! <laughs> Cause this time, it's personal. That's a shame. Because those bullets could have saved you a lot of pain. Number three, saving the bad guy. <laughs> Despite what some might argue, it's hard to claim that you're a good guy once you kill a criminal you could have easily apprehended. Just in case you forgot who's got the moral high ground in these flicks, most action heroes make an attempt to save the villain before that backfires. <laughs> Number two, bad guys always die twice. Everything is better with an explosive encore, and because of this, it's an expectation that the hero won't get off easy. 
Sure, he can walk away from explosions, but he better take a minute to make sure that his enemy isn't just playing dead. Interestingly, a side effect of this is that films that skirt this particular cliché often feel disappointing or somehow incomplete. Remember, Sally, when I promised to kill you last? Number one, killer one-liners. I lied. Here it is, our favorite cliché. Let off some steam, Bennett. If Arnie and company have taught us anything, it's that the best way to dispatch a villain isn't with lead or the law. Nope, it's by giving them a zinger that they would never forget, had they survived. Now them both. Do you agree with our list? Is there an action movie cliche that gets your blood pumping? Let us know in the comment section, and for more adrenaline-fueled top 10s, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. How do you like your ribs?